Professor X finally got nerfed. I know so many of you have been waiting so long for this moment, but it might come with kind of a side effect here because anytime you take a high cost card and lower its power to something like one, you gotta talk about our friend, Mr. Negative here, who is happily flipping Professor X now into a one five. And if you thought a five three Professor X was bad or even a three five Professor X in old negative lists, well, let me tell you a one five might be the most toxic version of this card uh, of all of them. And you can play that as early as turn four or two by playing something like Ravona on two, Mr. Negative on three. And if you top deck that Professor X, just play him on turn four. That is a disastrously effective sort of play, but actually still pretty good on turn five as well, because that one five just makes him kind of contest spots on his own. But you're also able to weave other cards in right alongside him, especially in a Mr. Negative deck, but even like full cost stuff, you can play a Jubilee on four uh, or on five at four cost, play that one cost Professor X right behind it and just win a lane right there on turn five uh, with just that couple pair of cards. So uh, becomes an interesting tool in the stack. Now I did shift this negative list away from kind of null Arnim Zola packages. They didn't make as much sense when you're locking down a location with Professor X. So bit of a different look here that leans into Ravona Rinslayer. We've also got Havoc in the mix here, which feels really nice actually in Mr. Negative Dex as a way to just get some actual direct power to support your Iron Mans and Mystiques and such. Uh, when you're getting those Iron Man Mystique combos off, this can be a good way to, to actually fuel up the power level, especially if you missed your Mr. Negative. So listen, this is one of those decks that's probably not gonna be very good ultimately. Uh, my experience running this today was absolutely miserable. I did go positive on cubes despite having a 38% win rate, which is uh, kind of what happens with Mr. Negative decks sometimes. So there was some forward momentum, but man, did I have some bad luck. You're gonna see a couple really funny losses in this game where it felt like the universe was just against me and I started losing my mind. But uh, I do have to say the Professor X felt pretty good sometimes and Havoc felt especially good in this deck too. So maybe with some refinement, maybe with some more work, a professor negative deck like this one could be good. I don't think it's gonna be like the top of the meta. I don't think you're gonna have to worry too much about this kind of style of Professor X play, but man, when it does hit, it's probably still gonna feel really frustrating and perhaps even more <laughs> frustrating when that one five Professor X comes down. That uh, is not gonna be a good feeling as you're gonna see. Okay, Ravona Negative is amazing. Just don't accidentally play it in Comertage. Comertage Ironheart's amazing though. Snowguard is pretty chill. All right. Yeah, we like this. Uh, we'll probably go negative right. So we don't lock up too much space with Ravona and negative since he can't go left. Um, unfortunately, Iron Man and Mystique are both out of the negative pool. Pretty bad negative set. If we hit Professor X in particular, pretty much everything's garbage. Uh, Jubilee, I mean, okay, that's at least she has some good targets, right? We may play Jubilee and Comertage, just really rip through the deck and try to hit that Ironheart. It's a pretty good idea. Iron Man and Mystique being discounted by Ravona also just helps, even though they're, um, you know, not flipped. Oh, there's just the straight up Jubilee or Ironheart, excuse me. Yeah, let's go Ironheart here. We might actually still go Mystique left and spread these and kind of hope that the Ironheart plus regular power gets us there. This seems to be somewhere they're putting some power in, so maybe just have an Iron Man here. Professor X, right. Okay, we can actually rip that back with Ironheart, assuming they don't add any additional power use. That's not the end of the world. Uh, can also do something like this, maybe? We think we're going to win right. This kind of wins me left, usually, and... Honestly, we're still really strong right, too, because Ironheart's going to hit at least a couple times, and we can add, like, a Darkhawk late or whatever. Maybe a Havoc. You could go Professor X mid as well, but my thoughts are they have four spaces to add power here. They only have two spaces to add power here, so I think restricting there is probably better. Maybe we can save the Snow Guard. We don't really need to necessarily fill that space. Like, Havoc, Darkhawk's probably better. Um, uh, The three drops wouldn't help me or anything. So, yeah, this looks pretty good. This is probably... Oh, oh my God. Oh, they're literally out of places to play. Okay. Well, that's good news. <laughs> that's nice. Wait, why are they going so hard mid? They, they know, maybe they're just thinking they're gonna lose mid anyway. So they're just like, hey, we're gonna just save all our power plays for left. 
because I can't beat Iron Man no matter what kind of thing, you know? But now they just literally have nowhere to play, so... Of course, that's just game over. Okay. Dude, that's sneaky Professor X, dude. <laughs> just, just losing to Mr. Negative, that's funny. All right, cool. Yeah, this is man. Look how much crazy power we got here. One turn, nuts. Okay, yeah, we love Ravona, man. Um, we would love a Mr. Negative even more. We'll probably rip this Jubilee, right? Try to hit it. But it loves Elysium. We do too, though. We even even if we don't hit like flipped stats, could still be pretty valuable. Professor X could actually just steal a spot here too, especially if Jubilee hits anything reasonably sized. Um, honestly, X Havoc is also a pretty good way to lock down a spot too. Oh my God, we hit it! We're geniuses. The turn two, Mister Negative. Let's go! Oh yes. Okay, how do we feel about this? Then I just win with Iron Man Havoc left. I think we feel good about this, don't we? It's gotta win. The Darkhawk's not gonna be like super huge. But it's enough, I think. Unless, I mean, what are the odds they play some giant card here this turn? Oh god, they played two cards. Why did they play two cards here this turn? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's good, that's tiny. Same deck, by the way. I thought about running Bishop a lot, so it's interesting to see their list. I actually thought about Sunspot a little bit too, but didn't end up using it. Oh, forget it, how can we lose? There is like no way they have Enchantress, right? Z zero chance. I just want this Havoc scaling now. Zero, they could have a rogue. They could have a rogue. Uh, we only need four energy anyway. So maybe we put the Havoc in now and then finish on these late for rogue. The Sunspot is actually a bit of a pickle too though because Darkhawk's getting smaller. We're actually at like 11 or nine. Oh God. Put the Ironheart mid. That's an interesting place because sewer system kind of hurts him there. I kind of maybe need an iron heart to hit right, yeah? Because we're going to lose... It, we're going to go basically down to nine. No, nine, eight. We're going to lose two this next turn. Oh, no, no, no. We've already drawn five. We're drawing six. We're going to end at ten. So we're going to be at eleven. They got to make up eight power. I mean, iron heart is going to hit at least once here, so that's pretty good. Do I need to worry about them having a Professor X? Or is Rogue more of a thought? I mean, I guess I could still do this mid and try to win. I'm gonna wait. I think I think rogues may be a little bit more of a thought. They're going for the sunspot here, but we had plus four. That should be more than enough. So now we go down to 15, and they can only go up to 14. Yeah, so this should be okay. Also, currently Iron Ironheart's actually just tanking, <laughs> tanking mid, because um, this this is negative power currently. I mean, that is true, right? Only plus six, we think. I mean, I guess there's probably some other ways to gain power, but if you're doing that, you're losing everywhere else because um, like if you're floating six, I mean, you can't win, right? You can't win mid, so I think we're okay. Abu pushing in another one here mid. It's probably not relevant, but you never know. Uh, okay, just no rogue, I think, and we're pretty, I mean, even with rogue, we might be okay. I am. Havoc I is just am. pretty big. A lot of power, basically. Fast. Oh, Blue Marvel was another way to get some power, right? But still not going to be enough. Yeah, Professor X. Okay, so there was a Professor X threat. Um, dude, I, this is like a different version of the same deck I was thinking about building. I thought about Blue Marvel, too. A lot of the cards I consider they have in their deck. Interesting. Getting a different look at, at what this deck can do. Um, yeah, turn two, Mr. Negative is nuts. Early Professor X. God, I got close, man. They really got close. Jeez, one point off here. The Ironheart kind of saved us, man. Looks like we probably could have put a Mystique mid and still been fine, right? We would have been at uh, 40. No, not quite 40 because we would have, what, 17, 34. It was still would have been enough. Havoc just got so freaking big. Ooh, this is a good hand. Ravona into negative. Uh, Space Throne. I mean, we're not really... Oh. Bro, I've been waiting five games to get... <laughs> to get their opponent negative and and here it is now 
it's just it's just great it's just so great um black panther's decent there too i mean honestly professor x on turn four might be the way to go though let's get real uh this is gonna rip a squirrel girl though so uh you know we'll, we'll definitely lose <laughs> no question black bolt's good quake gone okay that actually could have been oh my god they still played their mr negative that's very brave uh kind of scary though they did get a good hit this turn to be honest but i don't think playing mr negative in a district x is is particularly i don't know that's not my favorite line anyway i'll say that loki <laughs> game's gone haywire dude i got jeff even to cover the space throne that's pretty cool like, do I just go big here? This is where we're trying to win, really, right? It's not very easily answered. There's not, like, you know, Shang-Chi or something that's really good here. Omega Red's a problem, though. Shoot. This still ties, even if the Omega Red hits, but Atuma gives me a very good chance that it doesn't hit. They're at 13. They'd have to have plus seven there and still be able to win a tiebreaker mid. So I think we're okay. Minus like an onslaught or something that doubles up the Omega Red. Oh God, they played a lot of cards. That means the one right can't be that big though, right? Oh, a second Omega Red, but that one never hits mid. There's just zero chance. That's Mr. Negative, easy. No way. No, no way. Bro, we're fine. We still win the tiebreak, but no, we don't. No way. Bro. Whatever the case, that's that is one of the most. I didn't even see who Dua Lipa is. Thick sure Dua Lipa is thick sure perfect. Well, at least we got that out of it. That's worth something. All right, Ravona's great. Can we get the negative? Morph's pretty solid. I mean, actually, Jubilee's pretty good. Ravona Jubilee is a good little backup plan. Sunspot, probably a Sheenot deck. Can be tough sometimes. Darkhawk, uh, not good in a magic game. Usually it's just too small without Mr. Negative's help. Yeah, Jubilee Mojo World's fine. Um, Sheenot decks can't have a hard time actually contesting Mojo World. They have some small ones and stuff, but not usually like grow rate access to a ton. They're usually trying to play a couple of big cards late and can really reduce their flexibility trying to hit Mojo World with all that going on. Uh, Morph could be amazing though in this matchup, I'll tell ya. Could it like an infinite or something late? If, if it is indeed looking like she not, that is. Mr. Negative one time. Mystique is garbage. Okay. I mean, it does make my stuff really cheap. Ah, they turned off Bojo World. Sensible. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that. Now, right suddenly became very challenging for me to win. We did hit the Mr. Negative kind of on time still, though. I guess I'm cool with that. Do we go for the morph now or wait till their hand is like smaller? Probably wait because everything's so cheap anyway. Um, okay, Professor X could definitely help us steal a win here. I can probably give them a Zabu and not feel too bad about it. It's probably just kind of free for me from an energy standpoint. I guess I could play it left. Just for literally the power. Because I'm not that worried about the discounts. My hands are going to be so cheap. These are all basically free. I mean, it's, it's like I literally can only spend like seven mana this game. Seven energy this game. It's like my max energy output. <laughs> I have I have two energy in the deck and, and four in hand. So six energy is all I need to spend the entire rest of the game. Um, speaking of which, I guess we should probably get a Havoc down, shouldn't we? Maybe Havoc right is actually what we're looking for. And then we can just go for like an Ironheart and try to really buff this up and let the Havoc outscale them. Um, it's risky though, because they can definitely still add power there. Maybe let's, but yeah, but we want to do, we do want to scale this sooner rather than later, you know, like he's gaining five, six and seven. He's gaining 12. Ironheart's probably another two at least is 16. It's 20 power. It still really lets the opponent get there on it. I, maybe we play him left and try to win this with Professor X or Iron Man, huh? I think that's probably better. We de oh, okay, that's fine, actually. That would have stopped our Iron Heart, but we pivoted away, so Havoc's good. Big scaling here. Man, I was really hoping to hit the Professor X earlier. 
than the final turn or maybe not at all i guess um yeah i guess we're gonna rip a morph this is only 18 power here iron heart makes it a little better potentially but <sighs> it's just not very good i can play all of this on my final turn but i'd like to know the morph that's data i don't currently have so hopefully i don't like give them something cool in machine world right infinite come on one time cyclops okay well Eliath does become a risk here, but it's not usually Eliath. It's usually Infinite plus She-Hulk. Where does the Infinite go? Maybe here? She-Hulk might go here. Is this enough or do I need to actually go mid maybe? It's hard to say, right? Like this also just needs Ironheart buffs probably. I don't think this is going to be good enough, but we can try. Yeah, the infinite take your left. Actually, I think we're fine then. Yeah, this is exactly what we talked about, so we're okay. I think we're all good. Iron Man. Ironheart can only help, but we actually maybe do need a little bit, I guess, because there could be a Misty Knight roll off. No, they yeah, they did float one, so yeah, we did need a little maybe. 18 was not indeed enough. But yeah, cool stuff, man. Good. Press strike didn't really make much of an impact, I guess. Just bigger than Bast is the only thing. Plus four power. Feels pretty good. Okay, good. Two drop with Zabu always. Bring that Jubilee back to normal cost. Do not hit that freaking rock. Do not hit that rock. It always hits the rock. I know it does. Okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, we obviously need Mr. Negative, of course. Probably play Morph over Darkhawk here. Darkhawk's just not good, really, as much in this deck without the negative, specifically. Uh, dude, Altar of Death is kind of insane. Because Valley of the Hand. Bro. Bro, let's see what they got here. If we can hit a if we can hit a rock slide, we'll actually be buffing our dark hog. Uh absorbing man. Okay. That's that's not as good for sure. <gasps> Mr. Negative's insane. Oh, oh my god. Oh, but the Mr. Negative's gonna come back in Valley of the Hand and reflip my deck. So maybe we actually need to play him away from Altar of Death, right? Because we want good cards to come back from Valley of the Hand. Jubilee is going to try to win Altar of Death, but I want to play the negative first so that every card has positive power. Okay. It's kind of weird to... Oh, man, they're going to keep my hand too full, though, aren't they? Shoot. Dang, dude. You see, Absorbing Man... He's going to whiff because there's no target currently visible. Right? I think that's correct, yeah. So we're gonna get a Jubilee mid, an Absorbing Man mid, and an Ironheart mid. We're gonna get some kind of powerful card here, uh, right. Havoc is gonna start scaling me left. I mean, I feel okay about this, right? Ronin is awfully big though. Fast. I mean, that does help the Darkhawk. It only wins by one point right though. Is that gonna be enough? I guess we'll see. Oh, their Absorbing Man was active. It had already actually become what it was supposed to be. Uh, Bass didn't get buffed. Okay. Only 11 mid. That Ravona was a real whiff, dude. A real whiff, dude. Ugh. Yeah, Darkhawk's not going to be enough, right? They have three cards in that. It's only plus six, plus three. That's uh, another nine is 20, Havoc's 24. I mean, like technically, but I can't actually dump much hand space. This only loses two, as well as Sentinels. I'm gonna play this deck tomorrow, by the way. Probably pretty much exactly this deck. Um, so yeah, I think they just need to play any tiny card basically and they win. The Havoc probably won't do enough here. They snap emoted me. Like, wow, man. Good job. You did it, dude. You snap emoted me. Dude, the Iron Lad is. Was the Iron Lad actually big enough anyway? I think it was maybe just big enough. It might have been just big enough. I, I, they had a, well, how big was their, their Ronin was, uh, plus 12 is 17. Yeah, that's 23. What was the other card? A Korg? I think they had 25, exactly. 
So it was exactly the right size, maybe, but it just rolled the beast. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it's a bass just locking it down over there, too. That is special. Um, honestly, yeah, we like this bass. Um, we can actually, oh, well, we don't really want to draw a card off Abby, so we'll probably put Ravona elsewhere. We want to keep cards in the deck for Mr. Negative, but um this is a fine bass because you're really gonna draw like you want to play negative on three of course so you're gonna draw two cards in the meantime but but by the time you play the bass on four all the stuff you're drawing is already gonna be negative anyway oh my god are you actually kidding me right now i don't even hardly need ravona morph's a good draw the next good draw would be zabu draw me zabu because everything else we want to be hit by mr negative morph doesn't hurt too bad though i think uh, okay. Honestly, drawing a rock wouldn't be the end of the world. I don't know. It'd be fine. Iron Man's the worst possible draw. Worst possible draw. All right, if there's one card we want to get hit by Mr. Negative, it's pretty much always Iron Man. Professor X is pretty interesting, too, sometimes, of course. Uh, Darkhawk, sure. Okay, we can't really beat that. Heads up with our Darkhawk, anyway. We can have to use an Iron Man or something. I hate these rocks, dude. Um, I need to hit, well, I need to hit Rock Slide and Korg, both of which are on board. So, Morph, uh, do your thing, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Great Web Beer is going to cause a lot of chaos as well. I really needed an early Professor X, I think, to feel good about this, because that can allow me to do kind of sneaky stuff around, uh, around Great Web. Oh, Gladiator's pretty cool. It's a big hit. Yeah, I'll take that. Sarah, huh? Okay. Sarah plus, oh my God, I, dude, I, I am so tilted. I'm so tilted. I mean, yeah, they're zero ones, cool. They're not Mr. Professor X or Jubilee or uh, Mystique. Now I only get one real card drawn next turn. Oh my God. So, I need Mystique I and I need a miracle great web, honestly. I, I don't know. Professor X, huh? I mean, yeah, I guess we hope Great Web's big enough. I don't know. I could pull a Gladiator over to help. Um, I'm going to lock down mid, so none of my cards mid can get pulled. None of their cards make it get pulled, but they might, like, pull a Dark Hawk. I mean, I guess, I guess the Gladiator has a chance to win left if they pull a Dark Hawk, so... That's something. I, Professor X is probably honestly my best draw at this stage, but I just need some lucky. Oh, I am going to hit Great Web because they filled right. Is it going to be Gladiator or Bast, though? Oh! Oh! Free buffs! Free buffs? That's, that's going to be enough because... Oh, maybe not. Do we have a Surfer? Oh, God, Surfer. Oh, no. Surfer's so good there. I need Gladiator. No! No! I'm so unlucky! It was a 50-50 to hit the Gladiator and win. I am having the worst streak of luck! <laughs> I'm so tilted! I keep having every game go wrong by the tiniest of plays and margins. Oh my god. All the rocks and I still almost get there. That's so unlucky, dude. Okay, Bast is awesome. Free Eliath, too. It's like Eliath, but you don't have to feel guilty about playing Eliath. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, bro, we're looking out for you. We know you never play this card, so. We're going to hook you up once for free, okay? Wonder if we can play it, really, though, realistically. We hit Mr. Negative, yeah. Play some zero cost with it on turn six. That's fine. Otherwise, it's often hard for us to get the tempo, and Havoc sometimes hurts us, too. Yeah, can't play Havoc early. Morph is solid. His buff doesn't really matter much here, but pretty solid anyway. I mean, we might be able to just go like Iron Man and win a lane and then... Mm, yeah, this is going to hit Thanos or Blob. It's going to hit Blob. It's going to hit Blob. We're happy. Crossbones gone a lot. <laughs> the game giveth and the game taketh away. Oh my god, are you kidding me? 
Dude, I'm having the worst. Dude, I am having the. I I honestly am done. I I'm having the worst stretch of this deck right now. It's not even really the deck's fault. It's feeling capable, but oh. Okay, we like Bast. We're reverting the Professor X nerf. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Deathlock's a little worse, but we have a lot of twos in this deck we like to play, so let's not greed the Bast. I think playing it on one is totally fine. Because if we had a two, we're going to have to play the two. 100%. Clintar. Not a two. Would have loved to buff an Iron Man. Should have waited. <laughs> no, it's still right to go, but... <laughs> Hindsight makes you feel bad about it sometimes, doesn't it? Here we'll get a two this turn because it's pointless. Oh, uh, well, I was going to morph here, but now I'm thinking about maybe like a death lock instead. Just see if I can't hit a Mr. Negative or something. I don't know. I don't think it makes too much difference, I guess, but. How? Oh, God, dude. Dude. I, dude, I am on the most colossally unlucky streak of my life. I swear to God. I swear to God. I cannot catch a hit, dude. Electro. Okay, it's fine, I guess. Uh, Iron Man. Oh! Interesting! Oh, it's Clintar. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh god! I can't, I can't do it, dude. I'm losing my mind, dude. I can't. I, it's Clintar, dude. I'm losing my mind, dude. I can't do it. I can't do it. Obviously, we lose, but oh god, dude. I can't. I guess this video is just gonna be me slowly losing my mind. Yeah, we're totally chill to Bast here early. Um, we can get greedy with it later too, but we actually have things we'd like to play on two and potentially on three, so. Trinity range, sure. Here's the two drop we were talking about. Yeah, Um, let's go in Shuri's lab, spread power to get priority maybe. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh... Oh, goodness. Ah, okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, the eight power is not going to be as compelling in Shuri's lab as it will be elsewhere because they can more easily outscale that. So let's go uh, Mr. Negative into White Tiger, of course. Uh, we'll probably Jubilee right and then try to hit a Professor X. Um, onslaught. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's really spooky. This could be like big tribunal stuff, maybe. Um, you know what? I was going to go elsewhere, but now I think we go here. In fact, I, I think we go ahead and Ironheart as well. We just really need to win this. Well, we don't really have to win it. If I add 10, I'm going to be at 20. They're already at 14. That's so easily beat. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and commit, I guess. They might play another card here right away. So we want to we want to lock it down before they can use that onslaught to too much effect. Another plus six, plus ten here, actually, with the hits. Thank God. Oh, don't be Iron Man. Don't be Iron Man. Don't be Iron Man. Mystique, but that's chill. We don't care. It's fine. That's just power. That's all good. So they're uh, at 26. So indeed, we needed the Iron Heart. And, and frankly, it still barely got there, huh? Uh, Havoc, totally chill, we know, because... Um, yeah, totally, totally chill. Uh, we can actually wait to use him next turn, too. But... Might want a mid to go with Jubilee. It kind of locks us up, but it's a lot of power and Havoc still scales. So I think it'll be okay. We, we feel very safe left, I think. Tribunal could technically shift some power around weirdly or something, but I think we feel okay. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious, Miss Marvel, dude. No. No, this is a really good hit, but no, they're 31. Oh, no. I'm gonna have 18 here though. Can they really beat 18? The Havoc's so insane here. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. We would have actually ended up being better with the Iron Man mid in hindsight over the Havoc, but it's hard to know that. 
it would have had what eight plus five is 13 26 power there havoc probably still would have been plenty right but uh we didn't know we were gonna draw iron man because we drew mystique or something havoc kind of had to go I had am. to go mid so oh it looks like they went right which is probably better for us because iron man's a ton of power right should be okay i think magic too late ravona too slow yeah nice cool okay well yeah i mean geez havoc was a quick zero ten <laughs> iron man of course insane professor x preventing any onslaught stuff um yeah good good first game good first game kind of perfect for what this deck can do yeah